Engineering. Explained. With Stephen the Engineer. Welcome to Engineering Explained. Today, we're going to take a look at the manufacturing process of semiconductors and computer chips. These tiny components power almost everything we use today, from our smartphones to our cars. Semiconductors are materials that can conduct electricity under certain conditions. The most commonly used semiconductor material is silicon. The first step in manufacturing semiconductors is to grow a pure silicon crystal. This is done through a process called Zakralski crystal pulling. A small seed crystal is dipped into molten silicon and slowly pulled up, allowing the silicon to solidify around it. This creates a cylindrical silicon crystal called an ingot. Once the ingot is grown, it is cut into thin slices called wafers. The wafers are then polished to create a smooth surface. This surface is then coated with a layer of photoresist, a light-sensitive material that will be used to create the circuit patterns. Next, a machine called a photolithography stepper is used to expose the photoresist to light through a pattern mask. The light causes a chemical reaction in the photoresist, creating a pattern on the wafer that corresponds to the circuit design. After the photoresist is developed, the wafer is placed in an etching machine. The etching machine uses a chemical solution to remove the silicon in the areas where the photoresist has been removed, leaving behind the circuit pattern. Once the circuit pattern is created, layers of different materials are deposited onto the wafer to create transistors, capacitors, and other components. This is done using a process called chemical vapor deposition or sputtering. Finally, the wafer is cut into individual chips, which are then packaged and tested. The packaging protects the chip and provides connections to the outside world. And that's it. The manufacturing process of semiconductors and computer chips is complex, but essential to our modern world. Without these tiny components, our technology would not be possible. Thanks for watching Engineering Explained. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.